Watching out for you every year, Valentine's Day, and a lucrative holiday for companies in the flower, cards, and candy business. But another group also trying to rake in the cash, those fraudsters and scammers. News 5's Patrick Nelson shows us why you need to be ready for these attacks. Year-round romance scams are a devastating and costly problem. We featured some of them right here on News 5. But this time around, scammers are ready to go after people thinking about love during the loneliness and isolation of the pandemic. Here's what we know about romance scams by the numbers. About 25 million people are using dating apps. Experts say about 10% of the online profiles are fake. The average loss in a romance scam is $2,600, and for victims over 70, it is a startling $10,000. But it was women ages 55 to 64 who suffered the greatest financial losses. Experts warn scammers are targeting people who are depressed, lonely, or recently divorced. What happens is the, the scammers feed on that. So they're absolutely going to ramp up on their efforts. You know, in my opinion, this week, they're going to focus almost exclusively on these Valentine's Day romance scams. But they're on online platforms, other dating sites, looking basically for your money, not for your affection. So as Valentine's Day is coming up, and if you're looking for maybe a special someone, please be careful and aware that you could also be the victim of a scam. So here are the red flags that experts say to look for. For these scammers, a long distance relationship is the norm. They'll also want to take the conversation outside of the dating app or site. This makes it easier to fool the dating site's fraud detection if it has one. The scammers typically pose as doctors, military officers, oil rig workers, people who are difficult to reach or are traveling and can never meet up in person. Even if you have a significant other this year, maybe you're even married, you need to be on guard for messages from fraudsters around Valentine's Day. The crooks are looking to cash in on your excitement of getting a call, email, or text that your Valentine's Day gift has arrived or is waiting for you. All you have to do is provide sensitive information, a payment, or click a link that isn't legitimate and can load malware onto your device. Fraud experts say the Valentine's Day secret environment is fueling these shipping scams. Let's say you get a, a text about a teddy bear. You know, you might be reluctant to ask them to verify that it's actually theirs, you know, because you're going to kind of ruin the surprise. It takes away from the romance of it. Before you pay any company or provide information, make sure you do your research to verify it's legitimate. With people feeling lonely, isolated, and in search of companionship, fraud experts are concerned this Valentine's Day could be one of the most target-rich environments scammers have seen. If you're targeted by one of these schemes, it is so important to report it to consumer protection officials. I've posted ways to do that on our website, koaa.com. Always watching out for you. Patrick Nelson, News 5.